Hey everybody, welcome back to Oni Camo Gaming. This is your host Acidic, and you're watching MGS2 Shinigami Run Episode 2. And the point of this run, if you didn't catch it from the, uh, the, the, the text that I put up at the beginning of the first video on Episode 1, um, the Shinigami Run consists of getting all the dog tags and eliminating all the guards, and it's game over if discovered. That's not a real huge list of criteria. It's not as intense as getting Big Boss on European Extreme, um, but we are playing on a hard mode, so there are some challenges to actually getting all the dog tags and eliminating everybody that you can eliminate without getting a game over. It's also just for fun. I'm not like trying to super speed run or nothing, but maybe like once I practice this a couple times, maybe I will try to speed run this. Um, I was experimenting last night. I turned this file on because I was gonna get some pull-ups in. Uh, so it would raise snake's grip level and I can get some uh, dog tags near the end of this level when I came back to the game one of those um, Cutscenes that wouldn't trigger because whatever reason will apparently now trigger So this is something we missed last time and you can actually skip this and get up on this guy So that's what I'm gonna do and get him before he can get his radio in Freeze. <gasps> All right if I try to take care of him here with a gun, I think I'll be discovered. I'm not really sure why. But if this guy needs to take a nap, then he needs to take a nap. That's all. Everything will be all right. But I'm pretty sure I can fire my gun back here, no problem. Because that's what I had to do to get those lasers taken care of. All right. But I wasn't recording it, so um, I stopped the video because I wasn't going to record myself doing pull-ups, but because that triggered, I uh, figured I'd go ahead and show you uh, that we can get that dog tag and get that guy. Now, I don't know if I can get that one guy that um, alerted on me in the last video. If you were there for it, you know. I might put it in a clip so uh, everyone knows what I'm talking about. But I don't know. Maybe you all need to watch the first video, too. It's pretty good. <laughs> Continuity, it's, it's cool. Um, but I didn't get to eliminate everyone in the engine room. I got to eliminate most people in the engine room because the engine room is not loud enough to actually fire a gun without being discovered. I actually need to put everybody to sleep first, then take them out. But I got his dog tag. I don't have to worry about that. Camouflage is doing him a favor. I almost didn't see him. A little bit of a sloppy shot, but we'll be all right. Oh, all right. And then we go down our shelves. Is there a guy downstairs today? I don't think he's downstairs today. I'm not sure how things are supposed to trigger if you come in one side versus the other. All right. That shot doesn't need to be perfect. He can fall asleep by the time I get there. And on hard mode, people don't stay asleep for a super long time. So to get my uh, whoops, to get my executions in, do my Shinigami job, I have to work pretty quickly because. Everybody I put to sleep it will wake up very soon. They will wake up immediately, if not soon. Kind of in a like 90s boom bop rap. So yeah, if you don't know your old dirty bastard, you probably didn't get that reference in the last video. <laughs> but I like old dirty bastard. I like Wu Tang. I like a lot of Biggie. The infrared at your head real steady. You better grab your guns, cause I'm ready. I'm ready to die. But yeah, something you may not realize about me, I'm from the bad part of town. I was born in the projects. I gotta give credit to my mom. You know, she got me out of the projects real fast, so I wouldn't have to, you know, grow up there. She moved me to the country when I was in my uh, early teens, trying to give me some kind of opportunity at a, at a more peaceful life. And, uh, you know, I didn't appreciate everything about it at the time, but I can appreciate what she was trying to do. So, you know, she moved me out the hood. The hood's in my hometown, you know, like, I still live adjacent to my hometown, so it's pretty often that I'm bopping Biggie Smalls cruising past the projects, thinking about days gone by. You may not assume that about me because I'm a, oh no, pretty mild-mannered uh, Caucasian guy from the suburbs, that kind of thing. That's that's my history. So the engine room finally has everybody eliminated. Everybody else before this part on the tanker, I went back over the footage to make sure I got all my kills in. Everybody else got, got eliminated. <gasps> I didn't get the guy on the very, very tippy top. The guy out in the rain. I skipped a lot of people in the rain the first time around because I didn't have the medicine and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time sneezing. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get that guy out in the rain real quick, and then we'll move right on along to our pull-ups, and then we'll finish the tanker. So this isn't technically a family-friendly channel, but, you know, like, I play games with graphic violence and strong language and stuff, so, you know, you know the stuff I play isn't for kids. I try to watch my language at least a little bit, so, you know, somebody wanders in the room or whatever. It's not complete embarrassment for somebody. So this was my COVID game. This is also the my favorite game when I was, like, 12. That's when this came out, because, like, Okay, I played MGS1 on the Pizza Hut demo disc when that shit was high. And I played the crap out of that Pizza Hut demo disc. I played the Metal Gear Solid demo over and over again. You just get to Anderson, and then that's the end of the demo. But there's also, like, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 demo on there. That stuff was sick. I love Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. When this game was coming out, I, read, I was reading all the magazines. I was... I had heavy anticipation for this game. It was... It was gonna be, dang it, I want this guy that spawns right here when you first come in. But he ain't coming, he ain't gonna be here. What was I saying? I'm just a box. That's my new catchphrase, I'm just a box. So I'm just gonna hang out here and do my pull-ups. I will cut back when I am ready. My brother, uh, his channel is Dead Memes. There's actually a lot of channels called Dead Memes, so uh, I'll have to figure out a way to put his stuff in my description. Woohoo! Finally did it. Taking a while. Congrats, Snake. Looks like those pull-ups were working. Your grip strength is up. And that's that. That's that's all you gotta do for that. We are ready to go on. This is amazing. So in this next section, there's a way to spawn more guards, but there's uh, like three guards total, and I think you can spawn a fourth guard by going in this alcove and waiting next to this pipe. Uh-oh, there we go. If I didn't trigger it, I'm gonna be a little upset. I didn't trigger it. Well, darn it. I guess I'll do that on my next playthrough of the tanker, just to show you all that it can be done. But that's really annoying. Freeze. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. That other guard that guard that spawns in here, I'm not I'm not absolutely sure you can get his dog tag. Sometimes guards are like that. You, Candace. There are some guards that don't, don't actually have anything going on. <laughs> Strange. Now this guy who's nodding off can be a little troublesome because he'll briefly wake up and it's just long enough to to alert. And if sometimes it's just hard to time. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I try to keep it family family friendly, but I just dropped an f bomb. <laughs> I guess that guy's not coming. Maybe I did something to interrupt how it works. I'm sorry about that, everybody. I'll show it off on an, on on a, another clip. Don't need that. A super safe way to do it is just go ahead and put him to sleep, and then run up on him and wake him up. If you want to wake up guards faster, you just gotta jostle them around and make some noise, run on top of them, stuff like that. In the plant section, you get a, a special item that you, you gotta use for about the first half of the plant. You can actually use that to wake the guards up faster. A lot of people probably know that already. But if you're new to this game and found my channel before other sources, for some reason, that is <laughs> something you can do. Yeah, I'm humble. I have I make no bones about the fact that this is a small channel. Two years ago, I got myself about 30 to 50 subscribers, and I felt pretty good about that. Off of like 11, 12 videos, you know, not bad. Really not bad. We're pretty small over here. Tommy Blunt. All right, so we're ready to get moving. And what does that use? No, it's in nine. We can use those. A lot of people probably already know how to hold people up and all that stuff, but if you want to get all the dog tags in that area, it's kind of meticulous.
No, 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 no. Get up. Oh, man. How did I know I was going to need that bandage? <laughs> How did I know? Nope. Okay, cool. I was out of dodge. Empty! Oh, cool. More stuff. Oh, I thought the grenade hit the back wall. I was wrong. Got that one. Goodbye. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. Well, I've definitely had a rougher time on that, but I've definitely done it smoother as well. A little bit rusty, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Everything's going to be all right. This is pretty much my favorite game. If you asked me two years ago, this was definitely my favorite game. But I think, besides stealth, my favorite genre is fighting. Every industrialized nation of the world knows the specifications for Metal Gear. And to be honest, I've been spending a lot of time playing fighting games and arcade games lately. Some of these Marines have dog tags. If you don't know which ones, you can use the thermal goggles to figure out which uh, of these Marines have dog tags. This is kind of where the Shinigami run ends because you're not allowed to execute any of the Marine. It's uh, instant game over if you do. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our array that will accomplish this. I'm just going to check this guy real quick. The opposition for the Navy is an undeniable fact. It's a lot of pressure from Navy brass. He does have dog tags, so I need him away. Freeze. It's kind of weird that the Marines' mouths don't move, but I think that's more to program, so that's why it didn't happen. Typically, guards aren't supposed to have their mouths move. Just a little bit longer. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this strategy is closer to home than we There we go. There we go. This is why we need a grip strength about this to get these last dog tags. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Freeze. 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 It's a fact. I promise you that they will not succeed. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease. I think that guy has one down there who's walking around, but I just don't remember. We'll find out. You can do it, Snake. You can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yo, yo, yo. We're all familiar with the shadow poses of the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. This cutscene is slightly different if you come in from the top, so I figured I'd show that off real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was my coffee saying hello. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah, I can go all the way around this. Not a lot of people record playthroughs of them up here, so you know, if you haven't seen this before, now you've seen this before. Grab some dog tags and wrap this up, and then we'll go into the dog tag viewer and see, you know, who we're missing. But I thought there was like one hidden in the rafters. At least one, maybe two. We are here today to flush out and rig our country. Thought that guy had one. About to freak out. <laughs> Not really. Alright, so one thing we have to do is get these photos of Metal Gear. No matter what run you're doing, you gotta do it. 
Sometimes Snake says that. I have a pretty passable, solid Snake impression, so that's something I kind of do on this channel a lot. Hello. What's up? It's passable. Good. Good. I got a passable impression. Let's do a little stretch. Right. Go back on on this side or on the other side symmetrically. It's, it's there. We have intelligence that there are anti metal gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Fuck! He's to the right! As a soldier, I know that is my duty. I know that is my duty. Good. Any sure so close it's pixelated. The brain trained to put me specialist in the black market trade. I should be able to work in peace. I think all of these Marines are inspired by Sean Bean in uh, Aliens. If you know, then you know. Alright, do your thing. Drop, drop, drop. That's my thing right there. No, no, no! Oh man, that was ridiculous. That was right there. <laughs> I was amped too. I was amped. I was into it. I was like trying to get that shot off so fast. It is the ultimate weapon. It is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Grey, after the Great Manta. Our Grey has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. The official reason given did not... Alright, so that completes the mission. Unless one of my pictures are a dud. It's dud. And... I should have somewhere around 95% of the dog tag just because of like those hiccups with the triggers and the flags in the in the previous video. So anyway, that's basically it for this. Um, in the next episode, I will show you the remaining uh, dog tags and who can be eliminated in the tanker mode and then we'll start plant. That will happen in episode three. Um, Flying Fox. You know, for what I've been doing, I like it. Flying Fox. Hard file. Um, and we haven't done any of the other modes. We're just doing it on hard. So we got Olga. 000 is Olga. And that's pretty much why I started with her. Um, because if you spend, a, like, like I said earlier, if you spend a lot of time outside, Snake will catch a cold sooner than later. And, I don't know, it just kind of makes things a little bit harder for me until I'm done with Olga. This first page is complete. I wonder where the number 15 is. Number 24. 29 30. And then that's it. So, I'm missing four of them. I have 88%. I was, I was off a little bit. I think this is an episode, y'all. Uh, thank you for coming back to another episode of Oni Camo Gaming, hanging out with me. Checking out how we uh, run like a Shinigami by getting those dog tags, eliminating those guards, and trying to keep it super cool while we do it. And uh, keep it loose, you know, it's okay if you get some game overs, no one's trying to be perfect today, we're just having some fun. And thank you for stopping by and having some fun with me. Until next time... Peace! Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, then please, you know, do all the stuff that the YouTube beggars beg you to do when you watch their YouTube videos. If you didn't like the content, then, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do want to watch. Uh, tell me what you're into, and maybe we can meet someone in the middle. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful, and, you know, 
if I could spend more time doing this and less time, you know, working for people who don't appreciate me, then that'd be cool too. So, take it easy. <laughs> Everyone has anxiety. Everyone gets nervous. Everyone is afraid of being around people. Everyone has feelings they'd rather stay home alone. And you know what they do? They get over it. And they stop being a piece of shit. Your emotions make you